On the fringes of a bustling historic town lies an oasis for nature lovers. You know, we've been out here with weed eaters, uh, chainsaws. Public Works Director Fernando Guerra helped clear the way for these jogging and mountain bike trails in Rio Grande City. Now workers are marking the trails so signs can go up, identifying the eight trails that now exist. We're also preparing a um, repair station for the bikes for flat tires or broken chains. Workers are also walking and riding four miles of trails, creating a map of the area. And that map may soon be available on an app. We want to go further on in the future to do the apps uh, where you can maybe get some information of some of the plants and wildlife that are happening. The nature trails meander through picturesque and rugged terrain near the Rio Grande. But choosing where to put them didn't take much thinking. The, the irony of this is that once upon a time, these were trails used by undocumented people that came across the border. They were. Uh, uh, probably also used by people who are smuggling stuff. Border Patrol agents still patrol these dirt trails, but city officials are hoping the tourist traffic will deter illegal activity. So the minute that this becomes an area that, that's con frequented by people, regular everyday people, the people who are doing the illicit stuff, the undocumented workers or people who are smuggling, they're going to avoid it. The transformation from narcotic and human smuggling highway to a nature lover's paradise has taken about six months. But in the end, it's a change city officials welcome. You have little mini meadows and little streams and the river nearby, so it's going to be something like nothing else exists in the entire valley. This is nature at its finest.